Well, there's a lot of boxes in the distance, so that signifies to me that there's a lot of parts been put on this EP3. Yes, sure. Sh yes. Should we have a look around it, Rich? Sure, Let's do it. Okay, well, we've decided to start at the back end. It's the way Richard likes it. Uh, LA fab exhaust system and manifold and downpipe and screamer pipe. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a look. There's a nice back box for you. Ooh, very nicely crafted. What do you reckon, Rich? Yeah, lovely. Stunning. Uh, yeah, like Dan says, um, manifold by LA Fabrication, Sidewinder. Uh, their screamer pipe was all done by them. The downpipe was done by them. Full exhaust was done by them. It's all on V bands, very all lovely. All on V bands, all very lovely and pretty, to be fair, and fitted really nice. Yeah, well, there you go. There's a good review, isn't there? So well done, Luke. You had some quality work there, mate. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to... I ain't got a flash there, mate. Mm. But, uh... Well, What's moving that? on to the front of this EP3. And as you can see, Richard has fabricated a front mount intercooler and he's done all the alley hard pipes. I say he's, I've helped him considerably today, haven't I, Richard? You mean you've held stuff? I've held stuff. Mm. But that's your 1%, isn't it? That's my 1%, and without my 1%, we never get completed. Yeah, so we've done, like I say, we've done custom front mount intercooler with pipe work. Uh, we've done two and a half inch, uh, well, it's two inch from the turbo. We've gone up, stepped up to two and a half, two and a half inch to one side of the core, two and a half inch core, and uh, three inch out from that. Main reason for that is obviously with the, the pre flay for this bumper, and obviously you don't get a lot of clearance. To get it fitting nice, we've obviously made some nice bracketry for the top to obviously mount the oil cooler as well. I think get... we'll bring it down and have a look in a minute, won't we? Yeah. Let's have a... You want to bring it down? Mm. Let's bring it down. As the comes down, I'll, uh, I'll show you this lovely alley radiator from Tegua that Dino Days has provided with the customer. Uh, nice bit of kit. How did that fit, Richard? What? The Tegua radiator. Uh, radiator's fine. Lovely bit of kit. Well done, Tegua, as per usual. Fits there. Fit, fits, mate. Mm -hmm. Fits lovely in there. Well, there she comes. Look at that. This is making for some nice cinematics, this, Richard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've not, got, I've not got a gimbal or anything. The car's actually physically lowering. Mm -hmm. Okay, talk me through. You're all the way down. Oh, you'll know when I'm all the way down, mate. Yeah. Yeah, so to be fair, customer supplied. 95% of everything that we were going to need. Like we say, we already talked about the manifold was LA. Uh, he took your advice though, didn't he? You, you, you spec'd it up for me with what you, realistically, the kind of stuff that you yeah, wanted. Yeah, the kind of stuff that you wanted. Uh, three inch down pipe, turbo blanket. He wrapped all the manifold and everything. We've made a custom heat shield for the back, which obviously you, you can, can see. see at the back. Uh, we've removed the fuel lines, the EVAP system, the uh, brake booster system. We've run the uh, oil feed line behind all that as well for heat. Uh, we've moved the wiring loom, we've made a heat shield underneath the turbo as well to protect the wiring as much as possible down there. Um, obviously we've made a little induction kit up, um, and then obviously we've done again uh, three inch piping from this side of the intercooler with a turbo smart dump valve. We sell turbo smart dump valves if anyone wants one, very nice. It's got a, uh, a turbo smart waste gate on it as well. Which we also so all, sell. All to be fair, all good quality parts. We've done Bosch 1000 CSC injectors, which is what we tune on for these. Um, I think we're pretty much there. The only thing left we've got to do is, uh, is basically put the oil cool system on. Yeah. Um, from where we are right now, this second. Uh, so we're going to get do that tomorrow. Get the oil uh, system done. Have it running. Obviously, make sure everything's okay. Put a base file on there. If everything's okay, we've got no leaks. Bit of shakedown. Good. A bit of shakedown. Get the bumper back on it, uh, and then we'll be ready to get it on the dyno. Do some shooting. Map a lap in. So maybe the next time we'll see it, bumper will be back on. Nice photograph of it in front of the Dino Days wall and then onto yeah, the Dino. I think so. Fantabby Dozy. There's a word for you. That could be the code word. Code word Fantabby Dozy because it just popped, popped into my brain. Mm. Maybe I'm tired. Mm. Here we go. Okay, so she's made it up onto the dyno, and Richard's going to uh, do an actuate run first, see what she makes on base pressure, and then start tuning. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen.
Well, what an immense car this is. It sounds amazing, it's made the power, it's a bloody good build. What you got to say about that, Richard? He said I was putting it on. I was actually ill last week and had a bit of a putting it on. sore throat and everything. He reckons I was putting it all on. I said, it's a good job. We didn't have to do any videos last week because I could barely talk. We could have done some from accident emergency, <clears throat> couldn't we? Yeah. We're not going to talk about that either. <laughs> uh, yeah, Silver EP3 uh, came out lovely, to be fair. Uh, it was uh, all the sort of manifold, the screamer pipe, the uh, downpipe, the exhaust was all done for, uh, with a guy called Luca LA Fabs. Top work. Top work, really beautiful work, fits nice. Uh, we had a conversation with him early on in the build, obviously saying, you know, just things like, are we, you know, do we keep the original heater matrix pipes? Do we not keep the pipes? You know, and he's like, oh yeah, people just sort of think that these are direct fit, you know, yeah, you need bolt to start. Yeah, you need to start obviously moving wiring and obviously moving vac pipes and moving heater matrix pipes and making heat shields. And which said, you expected. Yeah, which we said obviously we fully expect that sort of thing. That's, you know, that's, we're used to that level of work. And he says, yeah, a lot of customers don't realise that, you know. He seemed to be singing from the our hymn sheet, didn't he? He did really, yeah, to be fair. So it seemed like a nice guy. Um, his, his work's work, fantastic. Yeah, his, his work was certainly amazing. The customer's not scrimped at all on this build. You know, he's bought a nice turbo, precision turbo. He has bought, obviously, some decent quality stuff from LA Fabrications. We've made his front mount up with his hard pipes, and we've made that, obviously, to fit and done. We've also fitted him an, uh, an oil cooler. We custom mounted that and made some brackets to obviously fit that. We've also done that. Uh, we've fitted everything from start to finish, basically. Qual quality parts, great injectors, um, dump valve, and waste... Um yeah, he's used Waste Turbo cap. Smart Wastegate, Turbo Smart Dump Valve. Real good quality. So everything, stuff. everything was, you know, good quality. Uh, you know, it, when you say like these things take time, they do take time. Uh, the customer did sort of really want the car back within three days. Um, unfortunately, that was not going to happen for us. You know, uh, we did sort of quote the guy two two days to fit the turbo kit. But obviously, once we started getting involved, and there was a few more things to move than we thought. Ali radiators, yeah, all cool. it, radiators a... on, and bits and bobs doing, and, and things like that, and all cooler fitting. And obviously, we re fast realised we were running out of time. Uh, so we got to that sort of day three mark, um, where obviously we were doing the intercooler setup. And we were like, we're not going to get done. Uh, you know, at that point, there was still oil cooler to fit. There was a uh, fuel pump to fit. There was, um, there was the mat to obviously get on with. I said, that's assuming that everything's obviously okay. We've got no leaks or anything like that. Or we don't have anything that, you know, that, that needs attention. You know, look at everything did go okay. Uh, mapping side of things was great. So we had no obviously issues with that. Uh, you know, as I didn't expect because the build was so good anyway. Uh, a couple of little teething problems that we had, but they're just the normal sort yeah. of things. You had a little dribble of oil here and a little dribble of coolant there and silly little things like that that just needed nipping up or sorting out or whatever. So we've been working our way through those over a couple of days. Um, I think we're finally now at the point where we're just ready to take it on road test. And if we're all happy with that, then it's, it's ready to go back to the customer. I'll tell you what, this is going to be one immense EP3. And I know we've done some good some good e turbo dp 3s but this is uh, this is a good one and i think he's going to enjoy it because it's everything was right the parts were right and we had and we and we had the time to do it and we've done it yeah i mean the only thing that we would say on this car is that we've not got a fuel return system on it we've not got a fuel pressure regulator on it um i don't want to push on any more than we're, we're doing right now for, just for the simple reason that we're at 15 psi boost we're making 462 brake I'm really, really happy with that. We broke the 400 wheel horsepower, so again, I'm happy with that. Um, I don't want to push on anymore. I think that we need that fuel return system if we are. And then realistically, you know, end of the 40 horsepower and probably about another 20 foot pounds of torque and you're literally pushing this engine to its limits. And obviously at some point it'll go bang. So it's, uh, I think she's safe. And I think to be honest, it'll scare the, the living crap out of him, to be honest. It's what I've got in my Colt, 460 brake. Mm. And it's far more power than I've got skills for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're certainly quick at that. I like sure. it when I plant my foot and I still feel like a passenger with both hands on the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. Lots of power. Shall we look at the graph? Come on, let's have a look at the graph. Well, not a lot to explain. There's a graph. Uh, 462 brake horsepower, I think. And it's, uh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. 409 at the wheels. That will pull his hair off, that will. What a great car. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another Turbo EP3 in the bag. Thanks to our Richard Ellis. Um, any final words, Rich? Any code words for the video? Uh, oh. 
spot. Right, code word accident and emergency, and we shall see you all on the next video, won't we, Rich? We will indeed. We will indeed. Wait, it was pretty fast.